In the history of Bhutan, commercial electricity has predominantly come from just one source. The hydropower in this Himalayan country can be so plentiful that an estimated 5,000 million units are exported to India each year. But hydropower is heavily dependent on the seasons. In the winter, with rainfall and the country's river system at their lowest, Bhutan must rely on imported energy from India to meet demand. Imports of around 300 million units annually have an environmental cost and also drive up cost for consumers. But things are changing here in Bhutan with the Sifu Solar Project. When it comes online in early 2025, it will make history. The first commercial source of renewable energy in the history of Bhutan. Why it is important is because we need to kind of diversify from the uh, hydropower into the solar power because it will curtail the import of electricity from India. We are also excited and we are new to this uh, solar because it, it is the diversification of energy uh, from hydro and uh, other forms. So this is first of its kind, as I said, is, uh, is the first pro uh, utility scale project in Bhutan. ADB contributed more than $18 million in grants and loans for the project, with the government of Bhutan adding another $1 million. The project will add 17 megawatts of clean energy to Bhutan's power grid and is a step toward the country being completely energy independent. So with the diversification of energy into other alternative renewables such as solar, we will be able to you know, become self-sufficient and I do see a future where Bhutan can be able to meet all its domestic requirements from the renewable energy sector. I should first thank the Asian Development Bank having uh, given the money to construct the project. And uh, I'm very much excited to work here at site. The experience that is gained from this project will certainly help benefit to work further in other projects in the country in, the, in future.